Hello, this is Hello Gabius, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have an exciting unboxing. This is my iPhone 12. Um, I already updated the iOS system to 16, so there's a lot of new features. I'm still trying to get used to them, but I went to the Apple Store and I picked up my new iPhone 14 Pro. So this is the 12 iPhone Pro and this is the iPhone 14 Pro. So I update my phones about every two years. And I wanted to set it up. Now they say that the difference with this year is that there is no SIM card. Look at how thin this box is. So there is no SIM card and um, I'm going to be selling this phone as soon as I activate it. I have no problem selling this phone. I'll sell it within a week. Um, but as far as the setup instructions, uh, they state that it shouldn't be long and there is no SIM card needed. So I do T-Mobile phone service and i'm gonna try to do the quick start so the quick start according to apple is the best way to activate your new iphone uh, with your current settings and it's just simply you turn it on you place it near your your current one or your old one and you just follow the on-screen prompts and yada 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 and there you go so let's see how easy it really is gonna be so um i'm not good at at technical stuff to be honest with you but let's uh, try to set up my new phone together and see how easy is it really so again I have T-Mobile no sim card needed and let's see how fast I can set this up so brand new out of the box guys I'm barely gonna open it up right now and there's another one here Ooh, and I got the purple one guys look at how beautiful it is so I did get the purple iPhone and this is what they call the deep purple and what I want to do also is compare the two phones to see what are the differences and I know that there's a lot of like videos on TikTok mocking the iPhone because there's really no difference and yet they're calling you know there's a new upgrade and so and so so let's just see what really is the difference so this one I didn't get much gigabyte just so you know um, I'm very good with downloading all of my pictures and videos to my Mac Ooh, let me peel this off It's so beautiful. So next to each other, this one is a little wider. And I mean, it might be maybe like a one or two millimeters taller. And um, yeah, the new iPhone, the square where the cameras are is just such a much bigger square and I'm not sure if you can tell it's just so much bigger so this is what comes in the box it's a lightning and a USB-C cord and this is what we are going to need from now on so you do get a charging cord and then you mostly you get Apple stickers yeah so I have one <laughs> They normally would give you two. I only got one Apple sticker, which is fine. I never use them anyways. Um, and here there's a little disclaimer and it says, you no longer need a physical SIM card. Activate your eSIM during phone setup. For more information, contact Apple. Okay, let's see if that's true. Um, and that's it. That's all that this little card says. Cool. So that is all that this box has nothing else okay we'll put that to the side iphone 14 is to my right and my old iphone 12 is to my left so now i am going to turn it on Ooh, and it says hello it's your menu and i'm choosing 
English. I am in the United States. I do want to do the quick start. So here it says, bring your current iPhone or iPad near this iPhone to sign in and set up. So, I mean, it's right next to it. If your other iPhone or iPad doesn't show options for setting up this iPhone, make sure it's running on iOS 11 or later or has Bluetooth turned on. You can also set up this phone manually. So I know that there was this, um, oh, there you go. Unlock to continue. It automatically gave me that message. I didn't need to do anything. And then it says, hold your new iPhone up to the camera. So I'm going to get my old one to the new one. Okay. Enter a passcode. On my old one it says finish on new iPhone. So I'm assuming now I'll just continue the rest of the setup on my new iPhone here. What it does, set up eSIM, transfer from another iPhone or set up later in settings. So I'm gonna transfer from another iPhone. It says ready, face ID. So now I have to do face recognition, continue. Okay, and it also gives you an option to use face ID with a mask. I'm gonna skip that part. Cool, and so now this says Face ID is now set up. Continue, transfer data, download from iCloud, transfer from phone. So I am going to download from iCloud. And that it says it's setting up your Apple ID. Terms and conditions, agree. I'll make this your new iPhone. Continue. Um, up here it says SOS already and that's what the new iPhone used to read. It doesn't read that anymore, so it's working. Okay, I also got a notification from my watch if I wanted to pair my iWatch to my new iPhone and I did. It's finishing up, setting up the apps and uh, I will let that continue, but it looks like everything is on the right track. I'm gonna try to make a quick call to make sure that I am able to use it. Hello? Hi, I'm just checking to make sure that the new phone works. And it works, so I think that this is pretty much complete. Um, I am so happy. I think what took the longest was actually um, the backup process. It's what took the longest for me. It took about 20 minutes, but either way, um, this couldn't have been easier. I'm glad I didn't wait there at the Apple store. The Apple store today was just so crowded. I didn't even wanna be there. Um, and I knew that I was able to do this on my own. Instructions are just so easy to follow. And now I have a new iPhone 14 and I am so excited. I'm gonna be buying a case for it to protect it. I totally love the deep purple color. Um, so I can't wait. Can't wait to start using this. So thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that you get to enjoy your new iPhone 14.